Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very, very much. much. Now, this, this next, next song, song is one of our hometown favorites, favorites, and I'd love to dedicate it to my mom. Hey, Bonehead, get off the stage. Sound check ended over an hour ago. Fooled you, didn't I? I'm Julius. Julius Caesar. I know what you're thinking. You're out there saying, no way, can't be. Well, it's true. My parents, may God rest their souls, were archaeologists, big Roman history buffs. And that's the name they gave me, Julius Caesar Magruder. Look, if you want to make it big in the music business, which you may rest assured I will do, you got to have the name. Even so, it was no picnic being a kid named after a dead emperor. Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Let's start back at the beginning. And I was just another struggling young rocker. This is the crib. The palace, so to speak. Anything for me? Yeah, from California University. What do they want? I don't know. Must be my grades. I didn't know you went to college. Huh. We regret to inform you that you no longer meet our eligibility requirements. I don't? Four Fs are incomplete. Very impressive, Julius. Oh, man. OK, you know what this means, don't you? From now on, total focus on the music, OK? Can we make a pact here? Sure. Huh? Can we join hands? Sure, baby. Julius, let's go inside. No, this is the defining moment. Nothing except aspirin and a rich daddy. Buffer. I told you her name is Buffer. Buffer, aspirin, whatever. She still gives me a headache. Buffer, I'm a... I have a hunger now. I'll go make a pierogies, OK? Annie, look, it's all rock and roll, OK? We'll deal with it tomorrow. We'll practice tomorrow. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. God, I'm really late. Look at this headline. World Peace Summit scheduled. Out of business. Sir, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about on the World Peace Front. 
But if I could call your attention to a problem at the plant... Why do you keep bugging me about all these little details, Larry? What the hell am I paying you for? <clears throat> Mr. Bidwell, the environmentalists are picketing the plant. So what? You scared of a bunch of sniveling tree huggers? Turn the fire hoses on them! <laughs> I don't think that would be good publicity for us right now, sir. Remember Big Pink. Big Pink. Nothing must jeopardize Big Pink. Nothing. You understand me? Oh, God. Not him. Mr. Big what? Just what I need. Send me the bill. Uh, Hi there. Is Buffer uh... Not bad, and you? Sorry. We were practicing. We're really sounding good. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. Have to ride. Oh, it gets bugs in my teeth. Let's just take Daddy's car. Cool. Sorry about your bummer, Mr. Bidwell. What if she marries that piece of dirt? Get a hold of yourself, Mr. Bidwell. Why can't you find a respectable fellow? What? Someone with a future, a good republic. Someone like yourself, sir. Damn it, why can't she find someone like me? <clears throat> I have voted Republican, sir. <laughs> this is red. Buffer, I love you. I know you do. I know you do? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, Julius. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Okay, you can kiss me. <sighs> um, I can't go to the party. Excuse me? We've got practice tomorrow night, I promise. You don't care about me! You don't care about me! Annie, I... means everything to me. I've been put in jail for this band. Annie, you were put in jail for stealing a UPS truck now. Well, Come on. Yeah, that was so we could haul our gear. Julius, you're a joke. If you're the front man, why don't you act like one and be a leader? Stop selling out! I'm not selling out! You say this band is your life, and then you blow it off. And for what, huh? A party? It's very important to Buffer. What about what's important to you? She's important to me. Well, you can't always have it both ways. One of these days, you're gonna have to stand up for what you believe in. I will. I do. And I'm not a sellout. Hey, 
Hey, Sue. Hmm. How you doing? Can't this kid get a job? How the hell are you, old gravy boat? Stromora. Have you seen Buffer? I'm sure she's around here somewhere. How about a drink? What's your poison? I don't know, uh, beer, I guess. A ton santé. Allow me. I keep it, please. My gift to you. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Bidwell has asked to speak with you, if you have a moment. Great party, Mr. Bidwell. You know what, numbnuts? What, sir? I don't like you. I've never liked you. And I'm never gonna like you. That's funny, sir. <laughs> Okay, kid. I get right to the point. Away from my daughter for the rest of your natural born life. Fifty thousand dollars? You're just testing me to see how much love I have for your daughter. Okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you something, Mr. Bidwell. Julius Caesar does not sell out. Now, I love Buffer, and I will do anything for Buffer. If you're gonna deprive me of that right, you may as well kill me. But I was poor, I was uneducated. And through hard work, I pull myself up by my- Buffer's all I have. She stays with you. My hard work goes for nothing. You'll blow everything. My daughter needs a, a man to carry on my work. A, a strong man. Got no job? What are your plans for the future? Well, I was kind of thinking Buffer would support me at least till the band took off. But there's gotta be some way I can prove myself to you. What have you got to lose? My patience, for one thing. No, listen to me. I can make you proud of me. I can do it. If I can't, I'll disappear. I'll bet you anything. Bet? You say bet? I'll bet you anything you want. Well, well, well. Seems I'm a sporting man, Junior. Tell you what I'm gonna do. If you can come up with $100,000 within six months, you can have my daughter with my blessing. If you fail, you have to stay away for the rest. Six months, it comes to, uh... That's $4,666.66 a week, son. Your what? Ah, one of my plants. The work is hard, but if you're the new man you say you are... And he had to buy me another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julius. I want you to meet Graydon, Wooden, and Sion. They're members of Daddy's crew. Buffer, can I talk to you for a second, please? <laughs> Not now, Julius. You're being rude. <laughs> it's important? Not more important than the club. <laughs> And you guys drive a black BMW? Because I just saw the valet outside on the front lawn doing donuts. You might want to check that out. Uh, when I tell you what I'm about to tell you. I'm already mad at you. I just made a bet with your dad. You should know better than to bet with daddy. He never loses. What did you bet? You. If I don't come up with $100,000 and then- This is exciting. <laughs> You lost your mind, sir. Hey, take a pill, Larry. But you've hired that, je ne sais quoi, hoodlum at our most critical plant. Whose plant? Your Don't you ever forget it. Yes, sir. But if I may, this is a very, this is a very sensitive time at the plant. Think of her, but- You can have some fun with him, but don't let him quit. As long as he's on the assembly, worry about my bet. Now I know what you're thinking. Caesar, you're a fool. Should have taken the hundred grand. 
but give Caesar his due. I was young and in love, and there was no way I was going to sell out. So I accepted the terms of Bidwell's cold-blooded challenge and hurled myself fearlessly into the uncharted world of capitalism. <laughs> you mean, you mean you've never worked in an eraser factory before? No, sir. But, um, really stinks. Stinks? N not the job, sir. The no, 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 no offense, no offense. Now, you'll get used to it. Look at me. I've been here for 20 years. 20 years. I've been here 20 years. You know how long I've been here? 20 years. How do you know? <laughs> 20 years. You know, rubber must be running all through my veins. That's right. I'm sure of it. Because no matter what knocks me down, I just bounce right back, Scarlet. Frankly, my dear. <clears throat> Come on, do it. Hurry it up. Time is money. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Uh, Ramor. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, uh, Julian, well, uh, why don't you take these uh, forms and fill them out, and uh, you can get started. Thank you, sir. Do you have a pen? <sighs> we only use pencils around here. Boys, boys, can I have your attention, please? We have a new man joining our, uh... Julius is a very close friend of Mr. Bidwell's. Mr. Bidwell says he should have a job here. Does everybody understand that? Any questions? Where the hell is he gonna work? Here, with you. Is that a problem? I don't have any openings on this line. I'm gonna go work somewhere else. Hmm. That reminds me, is there... You've been transferred. To the melting pit. There's toxic fumes in that pit. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Break's over, back to work. Uh, excuse me? Your ass. What? I said I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, you wouldn't know him. They're not country. I said I'm gonna kick your ass. Lunch. I'm gonna kill you. I thought you were gonna kick my ass. What? The games, huh? Oh, no, guys, I was just kidding. Yeah. It was a joke. I was kidding. I was kidding the whole time. I was kidding. Joking, joker. It was a joker. <laughs> First I'm gonna kick his ass, then I'm gonna kill him. No, guys, no, no. No, no, I'm kidding, I was kidding. No, please, I'm dizzy now, please, stop. you wanted to play games, right? No, 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 no games, guys, no, You wanted to play games? No, 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 some of my fellow employees decided to beat the crap out of me today. Employees? Where are you working? The World Wrestling Federation? No, Mr. Bidwell's Eraser Factory. So that's where you've been all day? $100,000 in six months, I can have buffer. You made a bet for a person? Look, not exactly, Andy. That has got to be the most offensive, sexist, disgusting thing I have ever heard. Does Asabrin know about this? Look, her name is Buffer, okay? And actually, she liked the idea. Now, if you don't mind, I want to go inside and take a shower. Good night. No, you can't take a shower. We got to practice. You promised. I can't take a shower. No. Hello? Oh, go home, do it. Please. I told you there's nothing to worry about. 
Maybe so. But those new erasers you've been making, I've done some testing, and they're not erasers. They are plastic explosives. <laughs> Nonsense. You don't know what you're talking about, DeWitt, please. Right. And then I happened to see some orders in the computer and discovered this big pink. You know what's in that file? No. What's in the big pink file, Mr. DeWitt? Because it was password protected. Because... Because it was closed up. Excellent work there, DeWitt. Good work. But that's not good enough, Larry! I am the manager here! I need to know! What the hell is going on around here? Now you better level... I'm sorry. I, I thought you said big stink. <laughs> we have no big stink. I'm so stupid. Wow. You know, I have that... Uh... It's nothing. What? Are you blind? Look closer. Getting old, do it. I'm telling you that. I wonder if she knew he started drinking again. If DeWitt figured out what we're up to, how can we be sure the next guy won't? I've got it all figured out. I've got the perfect candidate. Because <laughs> you're an idiot. Our jobs are hard. Our backs are bent. But is our spirit broken? I say no. I say we can do better. Why should we work under these conditions? Why such low pay? Why? Why? I say we form a union and demand fair wages, a safe workplace, adequate health care. Down. Of course, we were right to stand up to Dave and the boys. In fact, it just confirms for me the decision I've just made. Huh? Disappeared? Well, we've known for quite some time he's had some uh, problems. We've tried to help him, and, and unfortunately, we've done everything we can do. Well, that's so sad. He seemed like such a nice guy. You are the new plant manager. And as of now, this is your office. You mean I'm not fired? Fired? <laughs> oh, God, Dreyer Pierre. Let me ask you something, Julius. How do you think I've gotten to where I am? By kissing Mr. Bidwell's... By spotting talented management potential and nurturing that potential. <laughs> so what do you say? You accept the job? Get a handsome raise, and I know you have that bet with Mr. Bidwell. Job in no time. Oh, no, Mr. Moore, I can never fill your shoes. <laughs> True. So what do you say, Julius? Hmm? You accept the job? I mean, don't let me pressure you. Just say the word, and I'll put you back to work on the floor with your friends. I don't know what to say. I'll say you're in. All right, I'm in. All right! <laughs> Manager? Now, is that because of Julius's excellent organizational skills, or, or is it his vision for the future of the eraser industry? No. He got there by lying, stabbing people in the back, and kissing your butt. Well, that's true. But you must be happy. I mean, Julius is showing a lot of potential. I don't know. But with him working all the time, I don't have anything to do. I'm bored. Well, how about a game of squash? I just hired a new pro to help me work on my backhand. That must be him now. 
Uh, Buffer, this is Steve. Hi. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Daddy, can I have a new squash racket? <laughs> I'll notify his wife. Well, thank you, miss. We tried to help him. It's workers like that that give the erase industry a bad name. Let that be a lesson to you, Julius. Well, back to work. The engine that drives the heart of America, the assembly line. These are all my friends. There's Big Dave. What do you say, Big Dave? Come on, me and you in the parking lot, punk. That's going on your file, Dave. He loves me. He's just kidding. And this is the last stop on our tour. The brains of the operation. My office. Check it out. Two phones, free long distance. Free? Yeah, I have a speakerphone, too, but I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but... Oh, and Vlad, look. Pencil, huh? With fresh Bidwell eraser, huh? Where do you think I should put the hoop? I don't know, Julius. Come on, Vlad, we gotta go. Mama! Mama! Привет, как дела? Нет, это Влад! Влад! NTNT! NTNT! What's the matter? Mama, it's a smell? It'll go away. You get used to it. I hardly even notice it anymore, really. I think you're a phony. I am not. What do you know about running a company? Look, I'm learning a lot right now, okay? My learning curve is very steep. I don't do anything. I'm not really running this company. Oh, duh, Julius. Why do you think they gave you this job? Bidwell's no fool. He knows you don't know how to run a company. He's just trying to keep an eye on you to make sure you don't win that bet. No, no, stop. Back up. Back up. Thank you, Julius. Thank you. You're welcome, Vlad. Hey, don't play with that. I don't even know how to use that thing. Julius, for you to come home and practice. Annie, I can do this. Trust me. No, I can't. What? You can't have it both ways. Come on, Vlad, we're out of here. One moment, please. But what'd you do? You give me a lot of trouble with this thing, you know. What is this? See? Profit and loss state. What else did you do? I was an accountant for a state beef factory. But see, now I came to America. Breeze fresher of freedom, huh? Shave head, drive a customized web, rock and roll all night, party every day. Freaking good. You mean you know how to run a factory? Sure, beef factory, yes. Beef erasers, what's the difference? Will you teach me? You bet! No, don't do it, Vlad. You'll lose your soul. Please? No. Come on, let's go. Naked woman! Besides naked woman, Vlad. We need to record with the advance money from the record deal. I can win the bet. What do you say? Oh, quit looking at me with those little puppy dog eyes. You make me want to puke. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work, but if it'll get you to practice every day. Please, please, please. We'll do it. Ah! 
That stuff might fly in the barrio, he say. It's not gonna hold water with me. Don't interrupt me when I'm telling you you're nothing. Bah, no, Houston, to cool his jets, or he and the edge are nowhere near my house for Passover this year. You got me? You can quote me on that. P.S. You are still the nobody. So what do you think, Mort? Poison strawberry kiwi. Um, plane is great. Plain is good, and I can do plain. Mirabus. What is your name? Julius Caesar. <laughs> Magruder. Magruder. What is that? That's uh, Greek, uh, German, Spanish. Uh, Irish. Irish. Ugh. Isn't that the best? What, north or south? I'm kidding. That's touchy. That's touchy. Julius, can I call you... Julius? Sure. Down, brimming with neurotic, no talent, nitwits! And then you come in here with that music. <laughs> Are you feeling what I'm feeling? I feel like I'm feeling it more. You sensing what I'm sensing? I'm getting a sense. I am one. This is big. Two. I'm excited. Three. Five to seven record deal with points across the board. Four. Five theater, TV, movies, mall appearances. Five. More mall appearances. Six through eight. Garbage, you win, baby. <laughs> this is great. Any cash advance, Mort? Oh. Wow! More, more, this is great. This is really great. No, no, what about, what about number nine? Nine. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll bump it to nine.
No, 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 the number nine. You said you were seeing nine things? Nine, the number nine? Nine? Nine, 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 nine. What was, uh, what was number nine? Uh, was it a world tour? No. Uh, cover shoot? A box at the forum? <laughs> a couple of Harleys? Uh-uh. A mansion? Uh-uh. Um... What, what's it? What's it? <clears throat> this isn't my office, and I gotta get out of here because this my guys gets back at 2.15 for lunch. So wait, this isn't Mort's office? You're not Mort? Where's Mort? My office? Hell no. I'm in the mail room. Catch you later. Great song, baby. Come on. We haven't seen you in a while. I'm sorry about that, sir. Are you a coal miner now, or, uh... I quit my job and went to work for the water department because of you. I wanted to be underground where it's safe. First day back, they sent me here. Well, what's wrong with our water? Oh, you got a little problem with the sewage in the neighborhood, and it's right under your front lawn. Tomorrow, I come back and dig up your yard. That is a drag. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry well, about that. We'll do it in barbecue. And that's number one with a bullet. OK, thank you very much. And by the way, that's the last time I eat Korean food. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Why don't you tell me how many times you tell me? Why don't you tell me? He's not Russian, Vlad. He's not Russian. He thinks he's not Russian. I don't want to tell him. I'm going to tell him. He's sitting at home. He's going to go home. Why don't you go home? Let's go. Fine. You can come over after my lesson. But be here at 10 and don't be late because I'll be very tired after my lesson. And I want to go to bed. If that happened, are you? I wouldn't worry about it. Well, I am worried about it. You gotta keep. You are the one who made the bed with him, sir, not me. Well, you are the one who had the bright idea. Look, we put him in the manager's What? We put him in the manager's office so that no one would get any wiser about Big Pink. And it's worked. The peace conference is scheduled for next week and we'll be ready. God, I'll be glad when this is all over. We can go back to just being manufactured. That fart to wit. <clears throat> Profits are up, and he has. Can always change her mind. Relax, sir. Everything is going according to plan. Trust me. Pull, pull! Buffer, I know you don't like to say it. Buffer, you so glad. So, Buffer, please don't have a Harry. I'm begging you now, let's get married. Oh, Buffer, it's you and me together. Ooh. All right, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just ask her. Come in, sir. Have you seen Buffer? Well, she's certainly not here. What in God's name do you think you're doing? Um, just using your computer. A likely story, numb nuts. Now get out of my house. Mr. Bidwell? I'm seeing Buffer. 
I don't care if you're seeing Elvis. Get the hell out! He knows. Yeah, I want it all out of there. Make the arrangements. Tomorrow, at the latest. And take care of numb nuts. Better no bet. He's dangerous to me alive. Better yet, do the whole factory. I've always hated that place. Save our Hey, buddy. Hey, wait a minute. Do you work here? Julius? Larry. Larry, I was just wondering, what goes on in the research lab? And how come I don't have a key? To do with erasers. <laughs> That's just our idea of a little inside joke, Julius. I wouldn't worry about it. Larry. What's Big Pink? Julius, you're a genius. You are a genius. I am? You know, I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but when we first hired you for this job, we were a little skeptical of whether or not you were uh, executive material. So we designed a little test for you. OK. And since you've proven yourself to be such an ideal employee, I'm giving you a reward. Get out. No, I'm serious. For real? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'd love to give it to you tonight, but uh, God, I'm really pressed for time. Bidwell's asked for a full variance report on this year's production budget. And, uh, well, maybe you could, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, I could do it. It would just take a couple hours. Really? Yeah. God, that would be great. Um, that'd give me enough time to get the check and bring it to your office tonight. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Hey, congratulations. Keep up the good work. Sure. Hey, now, good job. For you. How it's wasted. Wasted. <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> Classified document. <clears throat> Scumbag. Classified document. Damn. Everything set for tonight? Good. I'd be glad to be rid of the fellow. Julius? Are you leaving? Yes. Uh, don't stay too late. I can't believe this. He's blowing us off. You want Twinkies? No, thanks, bud. Yeah, I can't stand this anymore. I'm moving out. What about deal? 
The deal? What deal? There's no deal. We shop the record everywhere. The only thing Julius is interested in is his loins, not this band. It's me. Hello? I'm not getting it. Yes, Julius. Hey, Vlad. It's me. Listen, I got tied up late at the factory. Yeah, I think I'm on to something. What's that? Me and Annie go. Oh, yeah, go. Now, you and Eddie go. I'll catch up with you later. I'm working on this thing here. I'm trying to get into this file. But it's password protected. Any ideas? Inside. Inside mind of person. Mind of person. Oh, yeah, I get it. I, I got it. Okay, I got you. I'll talk to you later. You guys have fun. Okay, bye. Explosive situation. Get inside his head. Whose head? Ramora's? Bidwell's. What do I know about Bidwell's mind? Egotistical? Criminal? No. Hates me. Yeah! It's not nice. Let's not do it. Get out of here. Goodbye, Chaos. Vegas, Monte Carlo, Argentina. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Julius. I really will.
Larry! I didn't even know you were here! Are you okay? Larry! Larry, you're never gonna believe what I discovered about Big Pink! Do you have any idea what Bidwell's up to? Larry, was... as a matter of fact, I gotta go. Hey, wait a minute! What about Big Pink? What about my bonus? Go, Julius! You will get your bonus! Meet me in my office right away. I think I left my car lights on! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey yeah, I'll arrest this lunatic. This maniac just pulled the whole thing. Let me remain silent, punk. Go on, get him in the car. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Hey, big man, you got a quarter? Mm. Hey, big man, what's your name? Jaime. Jaime! Jaime! This is not fair. We have rights. Jaime! Jaime! Attica! 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 Hello, Buffer. What do you want? I just wanted to say how sorry I am that things didn't work out with Julius. Eat that. You blew up the Bidwell factory? Forget about the factory. That's I why couldn't it have just been Oswald, huh? Yeah, Oswald's a stooge. Then who? First of all, why would I tell you guys that, okay? I I think so. I think he's right. I think he's right. 63! Then we flew coach! Wasn't no free peanuts, chicken, or Sundays. Hmm. Um. Who you call a fruit? With that big face cloth wrapped around your 400 pound ass. I ain't talking to you, Slim. Yeah? You ain't talking to me? You waffle and fried chicken eating baboon? Are you guys gonna talk the talk or walk the walk? Yeah. Are we gonna box or throw rocks? Well, bring it on, Cobb. I'm ready to throw down anytime you want me. <sighs> 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 Oh, excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. Chaos! But you're not a terrorist. I guess I lost that bet, huh? You're in a lot of trouble. No, duh. What happened? There was remorse in Bidwell. I've got proof, but no one in there will listen to me. God, poor Buffer. Your dad's a hood. It's gonna break her heart. Yeah, who's asking? I'm Dr. Fleckenstein from the Bureau of Antiquities. Look, whatever it is, I didn't do it, okay? Of course not. He's a rich man. What? While excavating your property to lay the new sewer, we made one of the archaeological discoveries of the century.
from the fall of the Roman Empire. None were thought to exist. How it got on your property, I'll never know. <laughs> Come over here, son. Ha <laughs> ha! Come over here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bebo, let me tell you something. I know everything that's going on about that factory, and you and this guy are going. This conference with exploding pistol racers. Can we be civilized? Uh, you figured that out? Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. I'm not talking. everything that's happened. I, I think I owe you an apology. I am so sorry that I doubted you. It's okay. I mean, under the circumstances, I might have done the same thing. I love you. You know what? What? Hey. Hey. You know, I lost my... I didn't become a millionaire. I couldn't bear to sell Venus. But I got a new guitar, and the band kept practicing. Ah! Guess what? We got that recording contract after all. Julius! Julius! It's me, Jerry. Guess what, baby? I made it. Made what? I'm an agent! <laughs> you, in the statue, in my office. It's a least, baby! It's the least I can do! It's you. Thank you, people. Thank you very much. We're really happy to be here. Uh, this means a lot to us, and uh, we're glad you came out tonight. This next. It's more than you know, it's more 